Hey, how's it going? This is Mr. Hardy. As you can tell, I'm not here today at this point. I'm probably up at the hospital right now with my wife. We're having our first son, AJ, or I might be home getting her situated with a couple of things. I will definitely be back by next week, though. So now to get you away from looking at my scary mug, let me take you for a little tour inside the classroom. All right, let's see. Yep, Hardy. Uh, I've heard things about this guy. Let's see what's going on in here. All those books won't be over there to the left. All right, when you come in, first thing you always want to do is head to this desk on the right. Whatever you need for that day, notes, worksheets, whatever's going to be there. Today it's your guide to success and also a worksheet of some sort. We'll talk about that worksheet in a bit. But some of the other things up here are some daily things that you need. Pencil, something to write with, always helpful. Pens are kind of hard to erase, and you're going to make mistakes in here. So I'd suggest having a pencil, having your own, plenty of sharpeners, not many pencils from me, though. So find friends if you need to. A folder, not necessarily a hanging one like this, but somewhere where you can keep your notes and assignments and you're not going to lose them or misplace them. It's a lot easier to go back and look at that stuff later if you actually have it available. And finally, something to write on. Again, I'll give you note sheets most of the days, but you need paper for assignments and maybe some other notes you take. You'll also notice as you look around my room, I am very much into attitude, self-responsibility, things that you can do where I can help you too. We're going to talk about some of the tools I'm giving you here in a bit to try and help you. One of the things you can do to help yourself, because when you come in on a daily basis over on this right side board, there's the door, here's the board, you're going to be the answers from the homework. Because again, I want you to know if you're doing it correctly, but the only way you can know this is if you actually have answers to check. Hmm which means doing some work. And again, that's up to you completely, but I'll talk to you later the importance of doing your homework and why that's going to be a big portion of helping you get a good grade. We'll keep looking around here a bit. You are responsible for you. Man, Hardy's getting on this stuff already. Whew. All right, we're finally to our next area that's kind of important to talk about for a second. Extra help. I do have extra help. Some of you may be used to teachers in the past that didn't have any. Some of you may be used to teachers in the past that basically would be here morning, noon, and night for you. Well, I'm somewhere in the middle. As you can see, I'm going to have availability every day of the week with circumstances going and things, but if you can sign up and let me know you're coming, I'll make sure I'm not running around somewhere making copies or talking to a counselor or something. So if you need help, let me know, but here's where basically you can find out when I'm going to be available most of the time. Okay, we get by my next expressions board there, and then we get to, what are we doing? Everybody comes in every day, what are we doing? Well, I picked up the thing on the front, but what else are we doing? What's the assignment? How's this all going? You can come back and you can look back here and find out. Like today, for instance, we're figuring out where you're seating. Hopefully you're all seated by now. Get your intro to my class and then our worksheet of some sort. Well, what if I miss a day? You know, Do I just come to you and say, hey, Hardy, where's the stuff at? Give it to me. Not exactly. Let me show you how that goes. Okay. i cut through everybody else's seats here. Hit stop to my little world up here. Computer crazy man. All right. Here's where you need to be if you've missed something, okay, depending on what class you're in, of course. Let's say you missed the first day. Let's say you missed Wednesday and you're in Algebra 2. You'd walk over here to the Algebra 2 folder. Ooh, note keys and assignments and stuff. Go to Wednesday. Now, there's nothing here now because we haven't missed a day yet. But look in the Wednesday folder. Completed notes will be in there if you missed them. Worksheets, anything that you would need from that day, you'll find in there. Now, if you find it empty, you may want to ask a question. Maybe you missed a quiz or a test or something. But that's something to do. And then the last thing I want to talk with you about for now, there will be calculators here on the table next to it. I just don't have them in here yet for some reason. So up above here will be a calculator checklist. Now again, reminder. Let's see if I turn myself upside down here. Get your own calculator and put it back in the slot with the right number. Let's be nice about this, cooperative. Everybody can have use of the calculator. We can have a great time. Now that you've looked at me again, having to deal with all of this, let's head back over here into my little world, and we will begin our discussion on your guide to success. All right, if you haven't started doing so already, we are going to take a look through the guide to success that you picked up on the front table. It's kind of big, but I'd like to be very, very specific about the things that I'm doing and what I'm expecting. A little bit of cartoons at the front. I like to have some fun with things at times. So we'll go ahead and we'll flip to the inside here. So on the inside, um, we'll just go through some things about me, what a typical class day will look like. We talked about that a little bit already. 
what happens if I don't get it, what steps can I take, the tools I'm going to make available to you, the grading, of course, that's important, figuring out what's up if something isn't going well, if you're finding off a little adversity, and then a sign-off sheet to make sure that we all know what's going on. So, now you'll notice we have a blank spot here on the All About Mr. H page. I was hoping at this time that my son was going to be here and born. I could put a picture of me, him, and mom on here, but that hasn't quite happened yet. So, um, uh, so I've been married for two and a half years to my wife, Jen, got a dog, a little stinker, and like I said, AJ will be here soon. Um, the rest of the stuff you can kind of read about with me on there. I'm a blogger. I like playing around online and just to kind of work through, but my passion still ends up being about math. I love making you guys try to be successful, and I take everything that I do really, really seriously. Um, not too seriously myself, but my job I do. So, um, um, all right, enough about me for now. I'll talk a little bit about that when I see you. So here's how things are going to work. Typical day in class. Okay, I'm not going to read this word by word, but I am going to explain a little bit of what's going on here. I talked a little bit about the front table when you come in, note sheets, assignments. Sometimes I may have a kind of a entry card to come in to kind of get us motivated with a discussion or see what's going on, what's up. You've always got to check that front table, though. Just walking in and going, uh, five minutes into class, you don't know what's going on, not excusable. Always check the front table. If you don't have a calculator, the case is over there. One's assigned to you, like I said before. Take your number and put it back in the right place. That's all I ask of you, okay? Once we get started, we'll always ask for issues about homework. I talked about the answers on the sideboard. So when you come into class, get that out right away and start looking to see what's going on. One thing I didn't mention before was that I'll always have a key at the front of the class. I'll have binders up at the front on one of the tables so you can look through there and check an answer. Those are not binders to take back to your desk and copy. That, that doesn't help you. And when I talk a little bit more about how I'm going to grade homework, it really wouldn't help you that much anyway. Most of the homework that we're going to be doing here has to do with exit slips or occasional homework checks. And we'll talk about those as they get a little closer. You'll probably be looking at an exit slip sometime before the end of the week here. Um, but it's a way for you to practice for the quizzes and tests, and that's where a major portion of your grade is going to be coming from. But it's critical that you ask questions and pay attention, because sometimes I won't know that you don't know something unless you don't tell me, but you need to be paying attention, because I'll see if, well, if you're not. So... As I mentioned before, come to class with a writing utensil and paper and a book if we need it that day. You'll be getting books tomorrow. Have your homework at least started so we can reinforce the lesson and know if you have questions immediately, not five minutes before the quiz or after the quiz when a grade's gone bad for you. Um, I know it sometimes can be tricky to work in schedules with sports and jobs and things like that. But again, do enough to figure out what you can do so you can ask in class if you need to. Um, number three, make sure you come prepared to learn. If, again, you're in here worrying about your phone and texts and trying to sneak your music up through your shirt into your ear and your head's all to the side and stuff, there's no chance for success there. Um, I'll ask you to stop once. I'm, I'm not mo like most teachers. I'm not going to spend half my period trying to run you down with texting and stuff. If you're more interested in that, pay attention to that, your grade's going to suffer. I do pay very close attention, though, to who's doing what, and I'll take notes, and I'm not afraid to send a note home to parents at the end of the week saying, okay, three of the five days this week, you know, Joe was sitting here looking at his phone, worried more about that than the class, and that's why he's struggling right now. So, again, can't be much more straightforward than that. Um, you're going to need this class to graduate, and we're going to need to teach you how to think to get a job and things like that anyway. So even if you think, I'm never going to use this any day in my life, we'll have that discussion a little later too. Uh, four, be respectful of your educational opportunity. Be polite. Be insightful. If somebody's struggling with something, don't make fun of them. But as I said up here, any mistakes I make, feel free to chuckle and go, ah, that's fine. And it'll happen on a regular basis here and there. And then be responsible. This is the biggie. If you struggle, make the tools available work for you. Do it now. You cannot wait until the last week of the semester then go, what can I do for my grade? Is there some extra credit? I won't have it. Okay. I'm going to keep giving you tools as we go along and opportunities to redo things and all sorts of stuff, but you've got to take advantage of that. You have to be proactive.
okay? I'm a big fan of yours, but you gotta be willing to put in the work too. And then just a note for parents here at the bottom, if I see some of the concerns, I'll shoot emails, and I also send out mass emails to parent every week or two, let them know what's going on, when's the next test coming, what am I seeing, stuff like that. Um, yeah. So, what if I don't get it? What if I've struggled, okay? The answer used to just be keep trying to hope it gets better, go ask the teacher. Not necessarily anymore. Technology is a wonderful thing when it's used correctly. So, for instance, you always need to try the concept using the examples like we did in class. They'll usually be pretty similar. But you've got to pay attention and write things down. Or if you miss something, okay? And I'm going to pause here just for a second. Well, no, I'm not going to do it quite yet. I'll make reference to my website here in a minute. But my website, you can get through it via the school website, but again, I'll give you a direct link. I'll have it posted in class. It's on every email I send out, just so you know where it's at. Okay, write something on the paper. Well, I tried, but I didn't write anything down. Yeah, no, not gonna work. So I need to see, okay? We can't be afraid to fail. And you're not really a failure until you've tried it and then quit. So we're gonna make some mistakes, it's gonna happen. And if you think you can go through this without making any, well, good luck, because I don't even get through this not making mistakes and I've been doing this forever. So again, something on the paper before you come and say, I don't get it. I need to see what you're thinking. Um, I'm tech crazy. Again, my website, which I'm gonna show you here in just a little bit, has videos of every lessons we do, it has review videos, it has videos from other sources, it has completed notes, it has worksheets. If you ever lose something, everything's right there for you. Um, we'll talk about my YouTube page here in a minute too with all my videos with things like that. But use the resources, okay? A lot of you have your fancy phones, you can use it. I've made sure I even have a mobile type thing with my um, website that makes it a little easier on the mobile phones. But if you even need to go to a friend's house or the library, it's worth it. Okay? You can't miss class and then think I'm going to reteach you the entire lesson sometime after school. It doesn't work that way. If you miss it, get the notes, watch the video, and try something. And then if you're so confused, come to me. But like I said, I will not reteach entire lessons. But if you do miss out a class, and we talked about the extra time that I have, okay, and I put in here again about when I'm going to be doing most of those times like I did up on the board, and if you have a quiz or a test makeup, and we'll talk about that later, or you have a few questions to ask, I'm not going to sit and do your entire homework assignment with you. Well, I'll do it because then every question I can ask. No. Okay, again, I'll answer a specific question, go over some stuff you've tried, but again, You've got to keep yourself on task. We've got to self-motivate you, and we're going to find ways to do that. But again, if you try to shortcut, life can get hard in here in a hurry, especially if you struggle. Okay? The tools available. My website, which we actually are going to take a moment here and take a look at now. This is my website. Again, just like it says in the packet, it's found at www.huskiesmath.edublogs.org. And what you'll notice when you get here is, I'll put little things in the front. Sometimes it'll be a motivational video. Sometimes it'll be showing you how you can find a graphing calculator like we have in class online. You can just download it and have it at home to work with you. Okay, I'll put other places where you can find calculators, tips for things that are coming up. But what's gonna be most important for a lot of you is gonna be coming over to this area. So whether you're in Algebra 2 or Honors, you come over here, you just hover, don't click right away. And for instance, like if I click on Algebra 2 for this week, It'll come up. If you'd have missed today, you could click on the guide to success. It pops up. You can print it off. You can look at it. If you lost the worksheet, you forgot it in your locker, you can click here. You can get the worksheet. Here's the cool thing, though. If you need help with some of the stuff, I've gone online and found some of the best videos I can to try and explain this, unless I've done a video, and then I'll put that there, too. If you need help with proportions on the review from today, you can click and get help. Equations, you can click and get help. Okay? Note keys. All you got to do... You click on the note key, there's all the notes from that assignment. Now, I wouldn't suggest not doing the notes at all, but if you miss some time, that's a good thing, and it lets you see what's going on ahead, too. Okay? If you want to check out my YouTube page, because that's another thing that you can get some assistance with on here. Let me flip over here. Okay? My YouTube page is at Hardy Math, just like it says right there. And the cool thing here is unit by unit, all of our different lessons are on here. So for instance, 
if you're in Algebra 2, we're in Unit 1 here. I'll click here. Every lesson that we have for this unit is going to be right here. So if you need to go back sometime, you can. There will be direct links to these on my website day by day. So it's not like you'll have to go search for them. But if you ever were searching later in the semester and you forget something, you can always just go to my web page here, my hearty math. Nice pick. Um, and just even click this and say, well, I'm having trouble with factoring. I'm having trouble with fractions. You just hit this and you type in what it is and it'll help you find it. Okay, the tools are here if you're willing to use them. So we talked about numbers one and two. Okay, answer keys at the front of class to check work. You can always check. So you can see the steps. You can go, oh, that's what I forgot, and kind of think about it. You can use that anytime, you know, if we have some work time before school, after school, whatever it works. Um, extra worksheets and notes in the class folder at the front of class. We talked about that if you miss or if you need some extra help on something. Sometimes I can find you an extra page to help. And then just some other websites that I've found to be helpful with some different things, worksheets, explanations that I've found to be the best ones with some links. Okay, grading. About time, right? All right, two sections. That's all we're going to talk about. Homework, 15% of your grade based on exit cards. Exit cards basically are, I'll probably put two or three questions on something the size of a note card towards the end of class, and you'll have that 10 or 15 minutes to complete it, turn it into me, and I grade them. Just to kind of see how it's going. Not a huge portion of the grade, but it lets me see, oh, they're making that mistake. We need to talk about that some more. Sometimes we'll do a homework quiz. Those will mainly be if we have a quiz or a test. I want to see if you've done the homework. I want to see if you've put the time in, because that'll depend on what we need to do if you need to retake it. More on that in a little bit. So... We'll talk about that a little bit more, but homework again is critical because it gets you ready for the quizzes and tests. Now, before we get there, though, a couple more things on homework. Okay, if something doesn't go well, I'll either give you a redo on that specific thing or something you can do to try and make it better. But again, it needs to be now, not eight weeks from now. You can still learn it and do well on the assessment because again, 15%, that's not a lot, okay? So this isn't gonna make or break you. And then if something goes well, you give yourself a pat on the back and you know you're ready to go. But again, this isn't about effort. I appreciate effort. Effort is necessary, but that's not what I'm grading you on. I'm grading you on, do you know your stuff? So whatever it takes for us to get there, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Assessments, quizzes and tests, 85%. Gulp. Okay. This is what we find out what you know and what you don't. And I know some of you are anxious about it. You don't feel like you're a good test taker. Some of that may be your study habits, which we're going to work on some. And some of you is just getting you relaxed on some of this. But the cool thing is, when we review for them, we got videos of those online too. And we do spend time in class talking through it and making sure we get you feeling comfortable. Um, one specific note on these, if you do miss a quiz or a test, you've got that number of days to make it up. So like if we have a test scheduled for Friday, you miss Friday. Plan on making up the test Monday. If you miss Friday and Monday, you've got two days, okay? If you miss the day before, if you miss the review day, that does not excuse you from taking the test on the scheduled date. Maybe you pop in early that next day if you come in and say, okay, here's the questions I had. Because remember, the video is going to be online for it that night. You can get all the same review your classmates did if you want it, okay? And again, I'll give you a reminder on getting your test or quiz done, but I'm not waiting for weeks on end when we do this. You've got to get them done. Cool things about assessments. Goes well, you got it. If it doesn't, you can do it again. Everything, every quiz, every test, you can redo. Now, there's going to be work involved with this. We'll talk about that in a minute. And like it says here, life doesn't give you second chances. Not true. Okay? As long as you're willing to work with me on figuring out what went wrong and fixing it so it doesn't happen again. The days of people retaking a quiz without ever asking a question and just walking in and then screwing it up again are done. It's a waste of your time and it's a waste of mine. So we're going to do it right. So we're going to hopefully then get some mastery of some of these topics and be feeling real good by the end of the year. So what if something's not going well? What if you're frustrated? Okay, I've never been good at math. I can't take tests. My parents weren't good at it. I got sports and a job. Good excuses. Not reasons, though, on why things can't be successful. Okay. Myself, I had two parents that barely made it through high school, didn't attend college. I'm a college graduate, I have a math degree, I have a master's degree. You can do what you set your mind to. Okay, these two guys down below here, I'm going to talk about a lot, especially if we get into slacker mode with some of you. 
Okay, Eric Thomas, E.T., and Larry Wingate. You, some of you may have heard of Eric Thomas with some things before, but maybe not Larry Wingate. But they've overcome big adversities, flunking out of school, going broke. But now they're both making it really, really well. And again, if you go to YouTube and check those guys out, they can be really motivational. And a lot of the quotes that you see around the class are quotes that I've seen in reading their books and watching some of their stuff. Okay. I'm going to get a video up on the front of my website that goes on along with this as well. Now, I couldn't squeeze it out at the beginning, but it's going to be up there soon, so you might want to check that out, where you just keep going and it's never a failure again until you quit trying. So, okay, here's how this is going to work. You flub up a quiz. You're like, oh, man. There's going to be hope here. If we're going to take the time, we want to make things go better, okay? So if you want to do a retake, you're going to have to come up to me, and we're going to take a look at this sheet on the next page in a minute, describing what each of us are going to do to commit in order to improve the grade when we do this the next time, okay? No just walking in and saying, hi, I want to redo a quiz. Not how it works anymore. If you don't follow the recommendations that you agree to, I don't give you the retake. Excuses don't matter, okay? If you forget to come in when we set it up, I don't give you the retake, and you don't get a second or a third chance on it, okay? We're not going to make excuses. We're going to work hard. We're going to get after it. We're going to be successful. So, a couple of quotes to get you motivated, and now we get to something that may become familiar for some of you. If you want to do a retake on a quiz or a test, this sheet will be filled out. Okay. You're going to tell me what quiz you want to retake, when you took it, when I gave it back to you. Notice up here, this form must be completed and handed in within three days of return. You've got three days to figure out if it's worth your while to really work at this or not. If it's not, you're throwing that opportunity away. Not to be revisited in a month if your grade's doing worse then. Not when I get a parent call saying, well, they weren't, mm-mm. Okay, you've got an opportunity. Am I going to try and make this better now or am I not? And then I will determine which of the things down here are necessary. If you haven't done your homework at all for this, I'm going to ask that you do all of the homework before you retake the test because that's probably why you screwed up. You don't say, I don't do homework. I tell you, you don't do a retake. Okay, I may give you an additional review of some sort with some new questions on the types of things you struggled with. I'm going to work to where your weakness is. Now, one thing I am willing to do, because some of you are sitting there going, well, but if I'm only messing up one thing, but I messed up a lot of it on a test, do I have to retake the whole test over? Not necessarily. If I see you're only struggling with a couple of areas, I'm willing to only give you those types of questions and then grade that part, because you've proven yourself on the rest of it. But again, that's my call, and I'll tell you in advance what we're going to be looking at. You're going to need to get all the signatures, mine, yourself, and a parent or guardian. I'm going to, they're going to be on the know on what we're doing and what's expected of you. Okay. I want you to make some corrections once we go over some stuff to make sure it's going good because you get to keep your quizzes and tests. And then again, meet with me to make sure, okay, here's my homework. Am I doing it right now? No, we need to fix this. So there's a time commitment here, both of you at home and some here to make sure things are going well. So we'll have all those, we'll have everybody sign here at the bottom, and then we also will have a timeline for you. So let's say you turn this into me on Thursday, we say, okay, next Thursday we're taking the test. You're going to work on the homework over the weekend, we're going to talk about it on Monday morning, Tuesday you're going to stay after school and make sure it goes right. If you don't follow any of those, you don't get to retake it. Okay, and then in the back, again... This is the only sheet I want. I do not want the whole packet back. I want you to keep it, parent to keep it, don't care. Way to get hold of me via email. I need signatures here. I would really like parent emails if they don't have a Skyward account because I like to make contacts that way. I don't do a lot with the phone. And that's about it as far as this goes. Now, I'll just say a couple of things here real quick. So we get back up to the top here. General rules, and I'll talk more about this more when I see you myself. I don't mind if you have a beverage in here, not like a two liter where you're all passing it around, but if you're drinking something, it's quite like, don't care. Food, as long as it's not making a noise distraction. Again, whole bags of chips, no. 12 cupcakes that you're passing around to everybody, no. 
I'm eating a complete breakfast in here and crumpling up my sausage burrito wrapper while you're in the middle of the lesson. No. Okay. Candy bar. Okay. If it's quiet, sure. Gum, as long as you're not snapping it, sure. I'm flexible with this stuff. But I'm just asking again, pay attention, do the best you can, give you all you got, and that's about it. So that's going to be about it for now. I look forward to meeting all of you really soon. And as your substitute will say right now, if you're having questions or stuff on the homework, leave those questions with them, and I will try to get videos of those questions up so you can get some help with those. Have a super start to the year. We'll see you soon.